you've got a great story on some lovely cocktails as we head into the weekend. Yeah, that's right. I can think of very few things that uh, don't pair well uh, as wine with barbecue. So that's why we talked to Colorado Wine to find out what the best pairings are for your fourth family feast. Well, this morning we're joined by Kyle Schlachter from Colorado Wine, who's here to help make our 4th of July red, white, and bubbly. So, Kyle, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me here. Of course, yeah, it's so our pleasure. We're so excited. So, I do want to get started by having you show us what you got here. Looks like you have three wines for us today. So, walk us through what you have and then walk us through what exactly makes it perfect for the 4th of July. 4th of July this year is going to be uh, a little bit different than people are used to and we wanted to be able to have people celebrate with a, kind of a red, white, and bubbly theme here. And we've got a collection of amazing local Colorado wines that people can find at, at many local retailers or up at the local winery here. And so the first one, the red wine we have here is Col Terrace. Uh, Colteros has, um, this is their estate selection uh, Merlot. So Merlot is one of the grapes they do real well there. It's a nice, rich, fruity wine that'll pair perfectly with any barbecue, anything going on the grill uh, for this 4th of July. But it's just uh, um, got lots of uh, big blueberry and blackberry fruits and it's, it's a nice, you know, hearty wine that's sure to um, be uh, a, a hit at any kind of gathering. If it's just your family in the backyard, you're going up to the mountains, uh, kind of hanging out, and it's a it's a great, lovely uh, wine. Mm. Uh, the second wine here for our white wine, we have Aspen Peak Cellars. Aspen Peak is up in Bailey, and they do a great job. This is their Viognier, which just received 90 points in Wine Enthusiast magazine. Uh, Viognier is uh, for people that aren't familiar. It's kind of similar to a, um, a Chardonnay, a nice fruity kind of richer style. Uh, kind of tropical fruit. You got some kind of uh, pineapples and mangoes and uh, like kind of rich apples. Mm. And so for the person that wants to have kind of a lighter um, white wine to pair with it, this Viognier goes great. And then finally, instead of uh, red, white, and blue, we've got um, red, white, and bubbly. And there's a lot of Colorado wineries are now starting to make sparkling wine, which is bubbly. And this is probably one of the uh, original sparkling wines in the state here. This is the Infinite Monkey Theorem, The Bubble Universe. It's a great fun label here with all the bubbles on it. Um, real fun wine here. And it's um, sure to kind of say celebration, say, to, say party at any kind of uh, event that you may be, be having here. But it's kind of similar to a champagne, where it's got those bubbles, nice crisp acidity, good fruit flavors. Mm. And then for, um, Anyone that's going to some outdoor activities, we have uh, Col Terrace and Infinite Monkey Theorem both put wine into a can. And so these cans, this is the, what Col Terrace calls the Can Terrace. Uh, great wine, easy to throw in a backpack if you're going out hiking and uh, no glass or anything needed. You can just crack it open and just drink it like that and pack it in and pack it out. Mm. It's a beautiful, uh, real fruit forward nice white wine. I love that. That's that's the kind of wine that I would pack in my hiking bag and take for the for the top of the mountain for sure. <laughs> Where can we find all of these wines? Anywhere here in Colorado? Uh, yeah, everywhere in Colorado. The easiest thing to do would be go to coloradowine.com and then you can go search for any of the wineries you may be interested in. Go to the profiles for Colt Terrace, Aspen Peak, and Infant Monkey and they'll direct you to where they're sold. But these are some of the more uh, easily accessible wines in Colorado. Kyle, thank you so, so much for taking the time. I don't have any wine on me. I just have my tea right now, but I'm going to have you grab your favorite and cheers me uh, to uh, end this little segment here. But thank you again. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> we appreciate you taking the time here on Colorado and Company. Thank you for having me. Have a great 4th of July. Thank you. You as well. All right. And to find out more about the wines we featured here or to explore some new options, you can head to coloradowine.com.